What are external MIDI instruments? Well, before we get into the discussion of what external MIDI instruments are, let's start by talking about what they are not. External MIDI instruments are not the stock software instruments that come installed in Logic when you purchase it. That means none of these. Nope, not that. No, none of these instruments that you see here are external MIDI instruments. Nope, not even that. No, no sir, ES2. Not the ES1. Nope, no, nope, and no. They are also not third-party software instruments that you install as AU plugins. So, no, nope, uh-uh, nope. Well, not so fast here. This is a yes and a no. Huh? Yeah, I know. But Native Instruments Machine can act as an AU plugin inside of Logic, or it can be treated as an external MIDI instrument. More on this later in the course. So we now understand that your software plugins, both third party and stock, are not external. They actually live inside of Logic. All of them. When you open Logic, you create a software instrument track and you instantiate one of these plugins on that track so that you can use it. Then you connect your MIDI controller. Your MIDI controller allows you to input your MIDI information via the USB cable into Logic. That MIDI information is then sent through the track that you created, the software instrument track, to the actual plugin. The plugin responds by playing the sounds of the instrument based on the notes that you've input with your MIDI controller. Those sounds are then sent back on the same track and you hear them outside of Logic via your interface. So, external MIDI instruments do exactly what they sound like they do. They live outside of Logic. For the most part, external MIDI instruments are tangible pieces of hardware. Rack mountable synthesizers like this Roland Integra 7 or even this Motif EX Rack. Now they can also be keyboard workstations like this Motif XF8, which has the ability to both receive MIDI and also input MIDI notes into your software to talk to either software instruments or other external MIDI instruments. Now because these devices are external, their sounds live inside the devices outside of Logic which means you will need some sort of device to allow you to send MIDI between Logic and these devices. Hence, the MIDI interface. What you see here is the Motu Express XT, which is the MIDI interface of choice in my studio. But MIDI interfaces come in many shapes and sizes and from many different manufacturers, as you'll see later. When using external MIDI instruments, it is very important that you understand a very fundamental concept of MIDI. MIDI does not contain audio. Only a transcription of the notes that you've played to be sent to a MIDI device. So connecting all of your MIDI cables correctly will not send sound between your external MIDI devices and Logic Pro. It just won't. So you're going to also need an audio interface. Audio interfaces also come in many shapes and sizes and from many manufacturers. This is one of my favorites, the Universal Audio Apollo. The audio interface will allow me to receive sounds coming from my external devices and pass them in logic, usually via an auxiliary track. In the next tutorial, we'll look at the MIDI signal flow of a simple, single external MIDI instrument setup.